Hi guys, this is Dan at Trojan Art Painting with a, another unboxing of new release. I read in the, uh, the new White Dwarf, the November 2012 White Dwarf, about these uh, these four new basing kits, Citadel basing kits they were releasing. And uh, they had one for Northern Waste, which was has like rocks and icicles and stuff like that in it. Snow effect slate pieces and a sheet of frosted plastic but it has some pretty good icicles too but I pretty much use my own method for snow and stuff as y'all might have seen in some of my videos so wasn't real interested in that one. Death World it has a uh, it has lots of uh, temple ruins and uh, details for deadly plants and creatures and scarabs and things like that then there's under empire and it had a it had the uh, like the jade looking uh, stalagmites and mushrooms and things like that the one I was really interested in was this last this last one down here though the uh, badlands so that's the, that's the one I when I picked up here and let's pop it open and see what we get All right. Let's see what we got here. We got we got some bases here of all kind of different little. Uh, there's some skulls with a knife sticking in the ground, and there's a. Oh, how cool! There's a here's a skull with like a hat on it. Uh, looks like like a uh, empire style hat and the arm reaching up out of the ground and there's like a flag sticking up and body parts sticking up skeletons and things a few more skulls how cool is that then we got I see a bag of a variety of different sizes of winter or dead grass tufting photo etched brass vegetation there oops um, this is just some different size uh, chunks of chunks of rock here and ruins and there's skeletons sticking up let's see well yeah there's just bones you see the like a horse's ribs and a horse's skeleton there's his head there's his leg and his ribs it's like a guy with a helmet there and So we got a dead horse. Let me zoom in. Oops. Let's zoom in a little on this stuff. All right. So we got like a dead horse and a little more light over here. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. And well, what the heck that is? Some kind of, I don't know if that's armor or what. The horse is really cool. Can't wait to tell what that is. Some kind of, some kind of chunk of something. There's some black paving stones. There's a rib cage and a barrel. It looks like that's pretty cool. Uh, oh, that's cool. Look, dead space marine sticking up out of the ground. Got his uh, like back piece thing, and his there's his helmet, and his shoulder pad, and his chest piece, and his couple of look ammo pouches. <laughs> Sweet. And then some like Tomb Kings looking stuff there. 
the shield and the head. That's pretty bad. All right, now I'll cut this open while I'm out. While I'm into the cutting an open bags mood, might as well show y'all these a little better. These are just sorted sizes of rocks. So then there's the grass, the photo etch, and then we got this this other, this bag I showed you first. Okay, here's the skulls with the knife sticking out of the ground. Pretty cool. Uh, you got a another Egyptian looking thing there. Another it's like a a horn or a tusk or something sticking out of the ground. Kind of a weird looking skull face thing. Uh, a skull with a you know, piece that looks kind of orky. Um, skulls, more like symbols for different things. There's a skull with some flat stones. Uh, some beetle looking things. Oh, this is kind of cool. Bones sticking out of the ground. It looks like a, there's a couple of flying thing. Beetles. They're like taking off their wings. They're all spread. Here's the dude whose head, the empire looking dude with his hands sticking up out of the ground. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Couple more skulls. Uh, there's another skull. There's a rib cage and a vertebrae backbone. Rather, that's pretty cool. And here's another skull with a helmet on it. Little battle battlefield detritus. Alright. Yeah, I'd say the either for your scenery, for your terrain, or for I would just I wouldn't waste some normal dudes. I'd I'd use these on command on on command stands or on stands for larger models like monsters and things, but yeah, overall I would I would recommend this as well. And uh it, for what you get here it would be worth looking into the other three sets too, so yeah, I mean, he got another recommendation for uh, purchasing this, man. You can you can get a lot of use out of this. There's a lot of stuff in here. You can do a lot of bases with which, what comes in this in this kit. Okay, so I guess that'll do it. So I'll talk to you again soon. Keep your positive attitudes and keep painting.